What's going on, Bully Fam? It's your boy, the educator, the scientist, Mr. Double Muscle Line Bulls himself, bringing you another episode of Breeders Hacks. So I've been wanting to do an update to this episode for a little while now. So this is going to be an updated version of the episode, How to Clean Your Kennels. Quickly, I'm going to show you the hacks that I've been using, um, you know, as we've been expanding, as I've been trying different things, you know, I've changed the method a little bit. So I just wanted to give you guys an updated version, especially as we've been growing and how we've been getting more dogs, been having to have to find methods that are more time effective and efficient and things like that. So. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you guys how we clean the kennels now. The thing that we definitely put in that we needed, and I'm gonna be doing an episode on this on Breeders Hacks, is making your own doggy bath. I have this doggy bath right here. Absolutely love it. You know, I have, um, you know, friends and family come over to wash their dogs. You know, um, 100 pound dogs fit in here actually easily. You know, so my tiny little exotics, you know, they love this thing. They can splash water. It's really not a big deal. Hot and cold. And I'm, like I said, I'm going to be doing an episode on how to make your own for like under 100 bucks. So definitely stay tuned for that. Since we have water ran to where we have the dogs, it's allowed us to do this now. And I mind you, you do not have to have the dog bath. What you can do is have a hose, you know, from outside ran to wherever it is to be able to do what I'm about to show you guys right now. So when I'm cleaning dirty kennels, the first thing that I do is you know we get rid of the dog beds and i raise the food bowls and the food um i'm sorry the food feeders so those get all moved so then i have complete access to everything that's on the floor so the first thing i'll do is grab my pooper scooper and pick up all the solid waste that's maybe on the floors of the kennels the two mops one being the clean mop and one being the dirty mop so next what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to go ahead and use the dirty mop to pick up any leftover pee or residue of poo or anything like that that's on the floor. And it's gonna go into that dirty uh, bucket. Um, if I was doing spot cleaning, then what I would do is take the clean mop now with the clean solution and go ahead and go over wherever the area was. But we're not doing um, a quick cleanup. We're actually gonna go ahead and do everything thorough. So I'm gonna show you what's the next step after I picked up the little you know, waste and residue that's left behind. So what's nice about our setup is that it's actually pitched, meaning that you know um, any liquid you know, waste or anything like that doesn't really stay in one area. It runs off and goes to the last empty kennel at the end was we took our water line you know um and yet again if you don't have a water line where your dogs are located you can use a garden hose and we attached it to our power washer our electric power washer um nothing too fancy just a standard electric power washer so now what i'll do is i'll go ahead turn the water on and now i'll go ahead and turn on the machine and now i'll do a quick rinsing of the kennels before I go ahead and hit it with our solution. And this stuff just rips everything right up. So I'm just gonna rinse off any excess that I didn't get. And it's really gonna just, you know, get everything. And it's so much easier than sitting there scrubbing kennels. We did a quick rinsing. What I'll do is now grab and change the attachment and now put my solution on the end of the nozzle and go ahead now and hit all the kennels with my solution so that then now, um, you know, it can go ahead and sa sanitize them. And yet again, so much easier, so much more easier, so much more easier than sitting there and trying to sanitize, you know, with a mop or anything else for that matter. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray the rest of these kennels. Actually use a mixture uh, for the disinfecting solution that I use to clean my kennels. I'm gonna actually do an episode on that, so I don't wanna get too in detail. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly rinse all these down with this and then uh, let it sit for a little while and um, then go ahead and clean again. They're all clean. I'll go ahead and let it sit for a few minutes and then I'll go ahead and then change the attachment and we're gonna go ahead now and rinse this all down and rinse it off. I'm gonna be doing an updated episode on uh, just our setup in general. But um, I have a lip that goes right here under the G4 and I use the two by four. So it actually raises it so that none of the liquid actually just runs off into the rest of the floor. So definitely, you know, be mindful of that when you're um, doing your setups. So now it's been a few minutes. I go ahead and I change the nozzle. So now it's just shooting straight water. And uh, I mind you guys, you know, I could just, you know, twist this on and off. It's all gonna depend based off of the power washer that you have. Um, and I don't even have to move the power washer because the hose is long enough that it reaches all the kennels. 
So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is rinse this all off. And I mean, it's just gonna get it extremely clean. You know, and obviously the great thing about the G flooring is that I have it raised up about um, a foot and a half. So no water goes, you know, above it. Um, but I also don't purposely aim to go above it either. And, um, you know, basically cleans them extremely well. And because it's pitched, it's naturally gonna wanna just go all the way down to the last empty kennel. And this legit gets every nook and cranny, you know, um, everything. Look at that, nothing on the floor. We pretty much powder washed all that soap. Now we're left with is this nice clean, um, you know, kennel, all these clean kennels. So now I'm gonna, what I'm gonna show you is what I do to dry off all these kennels. You might laugh at this one, but it works amazingly. And what I use to dry all these down now, cause I don't wanna sit here forever with the mop trying to dry this all up, I use a leaf blower. <laughs> so it works amazingly, it really does. So all you gotta do is, you know, turn on the leaf blower and I open up the exit door and all the excess water goes right out into the driveway. And it's all clean water, so I'm really not too worried. And it goes right into the driveway. For example, I'm gonna put it on full blast and show you it just it shoots the water right out of the kennel and makes it extreme, extremely dry and ready for the dog to go right back in. And now, as you can see, you know, completely dry. You know, I have a little bit of droplets here and there, you know, but that's all gonna evaporate by the time I bring the dog in here anyway. They're all outside playing right now. So one other thing that I'm gonna show you guys is, and this is new, um, we've added this. I'm gonna be doing an episode on Breeders Hacks about this and stuff. So you'll see, I'll explain more about it, but pretty much for our drop cages, I mean, it's super simple to clean up. The, especially dealing with puppies and things like that is these drop cages. Um, you know, they can be one big cage or there's a divider in the middle like this one, you know, and this is, this is actually two individual ones. So for this one here, for example, you know, what happens is you're easily able to take the tray out. I got wee wee pads over it. So all I do is just go ahead, crumple up the wee wee pad, throw it out, put a new one on and that's it, you know? And the other thing that we've added is the cleanup broom. It sits in the solution right here. And whenever I have pee or poo, what I can do is, you know, tap on the um, spot on the drop cage, wherever the poo is, and it'll go right onto the wee wee pad, you know, for quick spot cleaning, rather than trying to stick your hand in there and use a paper towel or whatever, or try to push it down that way. You know, I use this, this is like from 99 cents from the dollar store. And it allows me now to clean um, the, you know, the areas wherever it may have stuck on top of where um, the metal is, and it'll go right onto the wee wee pad. So, and that's how I do clean my drop cages. Nothing really too simple. Maybe I'll do a video on how I do the deep cleanings every week on these, but that's pretty much quickly how I do, you know, spot clean on these. These really aren't that difficult. I'll, I'll power wash the whole thing. That's pretty much it for today, guys. Um, if you found the information helpful and useful, you know, I just wanted to give you guys an update. Please, you know, share, like, comment. And I mean, if you think that you have better methods or you think you have alternative methods, you know, drop a comment and share that too. I would definitely like to, you know, see what you guys use as well. So I'll see you guys next time on the next episode of Breeders Hacks.